Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly uh, my finds from yesterday at Disneyland. I went down to do, well, I went down to really get this for myself. It is so beautiful, you guys. It's like pin on pin. And it's just such a beautiful pin. The quality of these new 2022 pins have definitely gone up. Um, with the 2021s one, like especially like the destinations, I would have to search through like sometimes five pins to get one that didn't have a flaw in it. And these are all much, much better. Like the quality control on these is starting to go back up, I hope. And I'm so excited for this series. Um, the Ursula, and I should have grabbed that one too. The Ursula one is also pin on pin. And it's just beautiful. Like they're really, really well done. I'm super excited. Um, these are limited edition 2000. Um, and like I said, they're just gorgeous. I had posted about doing pickups um, in a couple of the trading groups and then on Instagram. And I ended up picking up 16 of these total. Um, and they, I cannot believe how quickly they went. I mean, I was just selling them at cost, which in the end, I think I'm going to lose money on because, um, I am, you know, paying for the envelopes and then I'm going to go up to the post office today to mail them all, but I don't really mind doing them. I just don't know that I would, I'm probably going to set a limit to how many I grab and then whoever kind of claims them first, will get them. But this pin is just amazing. And I'm super excited with it. So far they have the next month is going to be Tiki Room. And then I think the March, or I don't know if it's in order, but on the flyer, the next one, the one after the Tiki Room is Haunted Mansion. So I know that one's going to be really popular too. But it's just a gorgeous pin. And these are still retail $19.99, which is also cool because as we all know, the, the Stitch Crashes ones, they went up to $24.99 um, in January of 2021. And then the last three, starting with the Tinkerbell one, they went up to $29.99, which is still, it's that's a lot of money for one pin. I mean, I know they're a good size pin, but I just thought that was kind of crappy of them to raise the prices within the series. So I was really happy to see that these are staying at $19.99 as well as the Ursula one. So that is what I wanted to say about that. And then um, I grabbed some cool stuff off the boards. They had this, uh, I got this cool Winnie the Pooh um, Bigfoot. This is a really cute series. Um, he is the completer, um, which is kind of funny because I know Marie is probably one of the harder ones to find, but this is the actual completer pin. Um, so I grabbed him off the board, um, found another reef, uh, found this little Dale, which I, I think I have this series, but I always don't mind grabbing them to compare them to see which one looks better because I know these are highly faked. Um, and so I always grab them and then I compare them with the one I have and whichever one kind of looks better, I'll keep up, you know, I'll replace it on my board. But this is such a cute set. Um, I found a Cheshire D at the Emporium, um, a mini music. I found this little Jasmine cutie. I think this is the same set as the Eric I had found. And this was probably the find of the day, the Cinderella birds from the new feathered birds mystery box. And I love, I have a little Jock and Gus and Cinderella mice board. And I have some Cinderella stuff on that board and I'm starting to add more. And so I'll definitely be adding these cuties to that board. They're so, so cute. And it's a pretty new, you know, new set. So i um, really excited we found that. Um, I found this, and this is much, much older pin, Disney Resort line, and it's from 2009 to 2010. So I thought that was kind of cool, especially because they're saying at Disneyland, um, starting January 24th, they're taking the monorail away. Um, as of right now, they said it's going away indefinitely, um, but I don't know if they're maybe just going to add more stops to it. It doesn't seem super efficient, or it doesn't seem like it, you know, you can get into Disneyland from downtown Disney and then go from over by Autotopia back to downtown Disney. But it doesn't seem like it, you know, they, they should add some more stops. But it's weird because it was down for so long with the quarantine thing. And then um, it's only been running uh, like maybe a month or so, actually. And then now they're closing it again. And they said indefinitely. So they might be taking that away entirely. And then I found a mini mask. I found one of the Fantasia um animals like there's like an ostrich an elephant and i think a hippo or something and i found the elephant and then found a white rabbit fanny pack so i was only there for a couple hours um i had to get back home 
pretty quickly. So I really kind of just went down because I think these are going to sell out super, super fast. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, they, if they sell out before Saturday when we're planning on maybe going um, for a little while in the morning, that they, they would still, um, that I would be able to get some. And um, I ended up helping out a lot of people get some. So, um, which I was happy, I was happy to do it. And, and I like, you know, wrapping them up and it's fun for me to just mail them out and stuff. So, uh, I hope everybody likes their little, their pin packages they get. And like I said, we just wanted to make sure we had one and one extra, um, to use as a trader. Cause I think this series and this specific pin is going to be very, very popular. So, but of course, while there, you have to hit some of the boards and see what they have. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.